Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I'm Penge, and welcome back to the Universum, where we are now in the Space Age, the final age of the game. We've got an observatory now, there it is. We've used that to look up into space a little bit, and we have found a few planets quite nearby that maybe one day, not right now, but maybe one day soon-ish, we could possibly go and visit and take a closer look at, which would be marvellous. We cloned a fabulously dressed nugget last time as well, using our cloning tower, that was amazing. And even though we are officially in the Space Age, we haven't really done that much in the way of Space Age research. We've got all of that to go. Look at that. I think the official start point of the Space Age is Lunar Colony. I think that's when it begins, because that's when you unlock the first building with the word space in front of it, space residential buildings. So I think that's when the Space Age begins. So really, out of all of that tech there, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things unlocked. And two of those are kind of the instant win things that you get by spending your discovery points. So really, we've only had to spend time unlocking five of these many, many things here in the Space Age. So we're going to be in the Space Age for a good long time, I feel. There is a lot of work for us to do, which is good because, you know, it's exciting. There are many things here that can do all sorts of wonderful bits and bobs. So it's going to be an exciting journey through the Space Age. We also do have some environmental ecotech things. So as well as looking up to the stars, we're also looking back down here onto the planet. And I think to kick things off today, we should get one of these in. I think we get ourselves a lovely air filter, purifies the air by eliminating pollution and ensuring a cleaner, healthier atmosphere for your nuggets. That sounds very good. Reduces air pollution level and increases happiness, which is pretty good. It takes a bit of plastic and electronics and steel. We've got all that sorted out. That's fine. Costs a little bit of power, tiny bit of water, and it reduces the pollution by 3%, which is quite a lot. Our current pollution is 8.6 per year. So if we build three of those things, they could technically remove all of the pollution on the entire planet, which would be quite spectacular. It does so reduces air pollution level. I don't know if there's some sort of difference of pollution types, so maybe it won't come down to nothing. Maybe there's to water pollution or ground pollution or whatever, but if we can reduce pollution in any way whatsoever, that would be amazing. And if it does reduce it by 3% of time, we'll just then build three. And then we'll just you know, go full on Captain Planet and reduce pollution down to zero. It shall be amazing. So I think let's get one of these in. Where can it go? Where can we put one of these? I mean, there's loads of room over here in the new bit. There's quite a lot of room over here. Um, let's pop one of these uh, maybe over here. Look, can we put it in that little kind of junction there? That might be quite fun. Um, yeah, there. That'll do. Pop that in like that. If I hang on, hang on, put that in just there. That's perfect. Oh, oh, it kind of beamed in. Oh, OK, they've got a fancy new kind of building area look with. Oh, it's got hexes. It's got hexes. Yay for hexagons. They're the best of guns. OK, that's exciting. I uh, get yeah, very fancy kind of futuristic tech. But yeah, look, we're building an air filter there. And the building across the road is says wear a mask to reduce air pollution. I don't think that's entirely how that works. I don't think wearing a mask reduces air pollution. It reduces your exposure to it, I suppose, but it doesn't stop it happening. But OK, right. Hopefully then they can get that in and then, yeah, we'll see if it does bring it down by a full 3%. Because if it does, that would be amazing. That would be very good. And then whilst we're waiting for that to happen, we have capped out 1000 creator points. We do want to keep a few of those around because, as we've seen, they are quite handy. But maybe... Maybe we could look at possibly getting a few more trees back into the settlement. A few people have said, can we pop some trees you know, around where people live? Because things are looking a little bit barren. And you know, looking around here, look, I sort of agree. Around here, it would benefit from having a few trees around. So maybe we could do that. Nuggets are infected. OK, why are nuggets infected? Um, there is. Oh, there's an infected zone. Hang on. Where's the infected zone? Um, oh, hang on. Well, that's not our fault. That's in that's in Capital City, isn't it? That's Capital City stuff. Oh, no, Loveland. That's Loveland's problem. What? Oh, OK. Are we walking through Loveland territory? We might be doing that. Is that the same one there, then? Is that the same one? Uh, oh, no, that isn't the same one. That is a body in a desert. Why is there a why is there a body in a desert? Oh, they're near the um, they got got by wolves. And that's the defence tower that sort of shoots the wolves. 
But uh, yeah, the bodies are over here because they're very far away from a nearby graveyard. Okay, I think maybe we should possibly, should possibly pick these people up and put them to rest. Um, yeah, we are going to scare the Nuggets a little bit. Sorry, Nuggets. We're trying to do the right thing here. Don't be afraid. We're putting them to rest by throwing them into a graveyard from fairly high up. But Joe, it's fine. It's what they would have wanted. Um, no, I'll grab you because you're too far away to be collected as well. And then we'll go and do something nice after this, because I feel like maybe the Nuggets aren't going to like us too much. I think they might consider us a little bit scary. So let's just go and sort this out. Um, yeah, the ill people hopefully can get treated at the hospitals. We did put a few extra hospitals in last time. So hopefully there are enough hospitals for people to get treated in. I'm looking at these guys. They've got something on their hands. Or something there. Have they got some sort of futuristic gizmo type thing? A labourer and a labourer. Okay, so we've lost uh, yeah, Usamta Batina and Hitcha Geek. But yeah, they've got something in their hands. I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't know what that is. Some sort of exciting piece of futuristic gadgetry. I do not know. But whatever the case, let us put them to rest because that seems only right and fair. So there we go. Sorry, we're scaring all the nuggets. <laughs> Sorry, nuggets. Right, there we go. Pop you into there. That's all very good. Um, Just going to have a quick check on the tower just to make sure that people like us. Hello, Big Benjamin. Um, Right, do people still like us? Are we still okay? Do you still love us, nuggets? Okay, we need to do something nice just to make them like us a bit more. How about... We do the jolt of joy thing. Um, and apparently this affects everybody. Again, I thought it was a sort of a, a shorter area of effect type thing. So that's why uh, when I've been doing this previously, I was kind of casting it in one place and nipping over to another place and casting it there. But apparently it affects the entire population when we do this. So let's take a look. So it's sort of there-ish for now. Let's, I know, jolt of joy you just there. So boop. And yeah, look, it's creeping up. We can see it flying up. It's okay. Right. It's back up at the top. And we've nearly capped back out at our creator points again. Okay. Right. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah. Let's maybe get some trees in. We get some trees around here. It's lovely around here. It's very nice. Uh, trees, 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 trees. There it is. Uh, we'll put some more trees around there for you guys. I'd like to, if we could, we tried to do this last time. It didn't work. Get up to 13,000 trees again. Just to see if that will help a little bit. Somebody else has walked through an infected zone. Um, oh, okay. I mean, we can't do anything about that. We can't do much about that, I'm afraid. There's a gap there for some trees. Let's pop some trees into there. We there we go. Um, yeah, I can't do much about that, really. That's that's out of my control. Can we put trees over in that deserty bit? Can we just spend 100 points there? I think trees do come up get like sort of proper desert foliage and stuff yeah like sort of cactuses and things that's quite fun um still on 12,000 still on 12,000 let's put some on top of there then there we go just get some trees growing out of a mountain or not no trees growing out of that mountain no forbidden um I don't think because that's capital city we're going to build too much around here so possibly another 120 points on getting some trees in that desert. There we go. Makes it a little bit nicer, that does. Makes it a bit nicer. <gasps> What's that? What's that? There's... Hang on. I'm clicking a thing. What's happening there? Okay, there are some eggs. There are eggs. Why are there eggs? And I click it and it wiggles. <laughs> okay. Do we need to pick this up? Oh. Oh. Okay, a, th a thing has happened. <laughs> do, do I need to... Okay, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep poking it until whatever that is comes out again. And then we will... Say, I'm going to keep doing it. Creature in there. Going to keep annoying you. And then it pops out. And it's got green sort of tendril things. And then it kind of goes, go away. Leave me alone. And it puts its thing back on. Okay. <laughs> I... I'm going to leave that thing alone. I did think it was the final plant thing that we we're looking for, but no, it's something else entirely different and a little bit weird. So we're just going to put some trees over here instead in that area for 120 points. Let's just get some more trees growing. Yay for nature. Still on 12,000 trees. So maybe now 
we could start putting trees around our sort of the areas where people live because yeah as people have pointed out in the comments it does look a little bit barren around here i mean you get the occasional sort of park and stuff but if we went to say that junction there and just went you know what there we go put some trees around just make it look a little bit prettier look that's quite nice look bit of life going on and still on 12,000 trees i do want to keep a few creator points behind just in case just in case terrible things happen we are of course picking them back up pretty quickly but uh yeah just want to make sure we do keep a few still on 12,000 trees um okay the last boost we'll do is over here then for now we'll spend 160 points pop a load of trees around here near the fuel factories yeah it's got to be a good thing it's got to be a good thing we're making a terrible thing with the fuel factories we're trying to you know, make amends with trees up to 13,000 brilliant okay well that's really good our pollution has come down a tiny bit it's on 8.1 per year i did see that we built a park of some kind which probably helped with that and okay, i'm a bit lost there we go right cloning center yay thank you cloning center <laughs> that's a really good kind of marker post type thing um how are we looking over here the air filter is waiting for plastic okay we've got plenty of plastic it might just be a case of them kind of retrieving it and bringing it over. Uh, we have got a residential building over there. Is that near? Is that near a repair place? Just. Uh, oh, hang on. It's near that one. Oh, I, has that been added in or did we add that in? I don't remember. Okay. Um, is it near a fire place as well? Is it near a fire thing? No. Okay. Um, nuggets. Nuggets. Can you possibly stop building out in the middle of nowhere over here now? Although, hang on, we're coming round to the other side of this. We've gone almost all the way around this entire kind of body of water here. We'll wrap around back here, look, and we can see over there. We can give them a wave. Hello. Um, no, maybe we do build over here. Maybe this can be our next kind of big place to go and build in. That might be where we go. Um, okay, so I think then, with that in mind... Could we get a few basics in over here then? So, uh, yeah, defense-wise, let's get in a fire station because that's going to be key. That's going to hopefully be very helpful. Hang on. Something exciting is happening there. They are 3D printing the building. No longer do we just have people coming over to build. Oh, no, they do still. They look after the 3D printer, but they're kind of 3D printing this building. That is brilliant. Okay, that's very exciting. Oh, where's the slightly dodgy looking leg? Ah, that one. Yep, yeah, okay, right, that's fine. That's one we're just looking at. Uh, okay, hang on a second. We shall rain on that. What's it looking like? 83% uh, water quantity, and it was quite polluty. Okay, bring that down as well. Um, yeah, pollution is looking pretty low. It's looking quite low. I don't know exactly what it does. So, oh, there you go. Look, it has a little sort of condition. So, pollution at the minute, there's no temperature change. There is no maximum temperature change. And nuggets don't get sick in the next hour because the pollution is so low, it doesn't matter. Level two, level two is a little bit of a temperature change. And 10% of our nuggets might get ill in the next hour. And then it goes up to 20%, 30%. And if the planet is really heavily polluted, 40% of the nuggets will get sick in the next hour maximum temperature change plus 300 degrees c i mean that's hotter than you would run an oven to cook food okay right the pollution can be quite bad then that's what i'm getting from that we have to manage it quite well okie dokie uh, what's that another residential building oh my goodness me okay right we need to get some things over here we did tell them to build over here using the magic kind of um circle thing so that's fine that's absolutely fine um right Let's get some basics in. Pause time for a second. Pause, pause. Um, I feel like over here we might benefit from another cemetery. So let's get one of those in over here because I kind of feel like that's an important thing. Pop that just there. So it's going to get some very simple things in. So um, engineer hut we have over there. So that's not so bad. But we are going to expand over here at some point, aren't we? So maybe just for the sake of it. In fact, let's put you... Oh. It's like an exciting road branching away there. We'll put you there. So then another engineer hut can go in to just maintain things. Um, I don't think we need a university. 
I don't think we do. There's not that many child nuggets. That's okay. A garage, I think, should be okay for now. Don't need a bridge. Don't need a cloning center. I do want to get an airport in at some point. I would like to get one of those in. We're going to get that sorted out first and maybe look after the planet before we then pollute it with airplanes or whatever. But we do want to get one of those in. Um, over here, we shall get in a reservoir. In fact, we could get a couple of these in. We could get two of these in. So efficiency looking pretty good just there and get another one in possibly in that little gap. Can we fit it in just there? Um, it's putting it at a weird angle, but yeah, OK, fine. We like the weird angle. That's all good. Um, we are capping out at um, battery storage, so we could potentially get us a little battery in. I mean, they're tiny. They're really tiny things. You know, what? just put put one here. Put one here next to the air filter thing. Um, can we put it there? Like that, look. Put one battery. In fact, do you know what? Let's let's go mad. Let's have two. I know we are pushing that boat right out there. There we go. Two batteries. Bonkers. Um, so that sorts that out. Uh, the air filters are going to go in. Do we get... No, we're producing loads of power. We're producing loads of power. So that's all fine. Uh, an eatery would probably be a good idea around here somewhere because they come in very handy. So boot, put one of those in so people can then go and eat. Don't need a fishing thing. A warehouse. Can never have too many warehouses. So let's pop one of those in. Um, just, yeah, there. That'll hang on. Is that going to break the roads? No, it's fine. Pop that in like that. Lovely. Anything else we need from in here? Don't need cattle farm food's fine don't need to worry about food um i mean all our resources sort of look okay as well don't think we need any ah courier huts yes a few people have pointed out that we have scrimped on courier huts ever so slightly and they do help with the whole movement of goods so it would be quite useful if we could get some more of those in if we put that there does that mean that road gets completed yay there we go a proper little intersection has appeared which is good um, we do need to put maybe a few more courier huts around. Um, a hospital. Is there one nearby-ish? There's one over there. Let's drop one in over here as well. Put one in over this side. Just, you know, make this into a whole lovely sort of new area for the Nuggets to go and live. So hospital can go in just there. More roads coming in. This is good. Um, what else do we have? Um, no, not in that one. Was it in that one? No, we've done that one. We're in here, aren't we? Don't need to forecast our hunting lodge defense tower um i mean okay yeah we like them we have seen that they are you know worth investing in i uh, will pop one just there just to keep this part of the town safe that's all very good uh, a bunker would probably not go amiss they're very tiny um yeah drop that in just there just in case we need everybody to run away i notice there is a blizzard coming up soon so we might need to use that um all these other things look sort of... Oh, police station, actually. Don't think we've got that much in the way of um, in the way of police around here. So maybe they could go on that... Uh, could they go on that junction? No, they could not. They can go there, though. So that's fun. We'll put them just there. So we've got some police in, which is marvellous. We do need to get some more military things in. But we'll do that at another point. We're okay for now. Uh, okay. Uh, let's pop a local business in because, you know, people might want somewhere to go and you know, do some shopping or whatever. Pop another one of those in, maybe in that gap over here because there is a convenient sort of gap just there. Very nice. Um, and uh, what else can we put over here? Don't need a movie theatre, I wouldn't say. Lighthouse. Joe, you know, we could potentially put a lighthouse in. We could put one in. Um well, just, whatever, just there, that'll do. Yay for a lighthouse, that's all fun. Um, and then, I mean, a hot air balloon. Of course we're going to have hot air balloons going on. Why wouldn't we do that? Um, yes, can they sort of fit in over here? No, they could not. Could they fit in in that gap there? No, they could not. The air filter thing is done. Help. We'll go and look at that in a second. Pause time, actually. Pause time. Because I'm, I'm building many things. Um, where are we? So that could snap to the road there it's a bit that snapping doesn't quite work properly but okay we'll put it there okay so hot air balloons and then just a couple of parks might be quite nice just some parks sleepy spring sanctuary let's just put a few of these around because again they help with pollution so we'll have one just there and we will have another one of those maybe over there's one just there already isn't there oh can go can it go on that kind of corner 
Can it go on that corner? It can go just there, I think. Yeah, boop. Pop that in onto that corner there. Um, and I think that's probably it. We can't do legendary buildings and space stuff. We sort of... Yeah, we do want to get a few of these in. I wouldn't mind a Cosmodrome. That's something that I do want to get done sooner rather than later. A spaceport, which is exciting. Oxygen refill station. I kind of feel like we need one right now. We've got plenty of oxygen on the planet. And one thing we haven't done as well is a Nuggetoid factory. We haven't got Nugget robots going around. I mean, is that a good thing? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. However, let's go and check out the air filter thing. The air filter, filtering power, nothing out of 100. Pollution, 7 out of 100. Oh, it requires chemicals. Oh, okay. Maybe future air filters should go near the chemical plant just to make sure that it is nearby. But that one can stay there for now. That's fine. Um, so it says 8.1% per year. Okay. That's not doing as much as I thought it was going to do. To be honest, it does... Oh, because it's got no chemicals in it. It's got no chemicals. Okay, that would be the issue. As soon as that gets some chemicals brought over to it, it'll then kick into life and stuff will happen. Okay, right, that's good. Now we know that to be the case. Let's fly over to <laughs> wherever the chemical factory is. I'm, I'm, it's very big around here these days. It's very big and I'm very, very lost. There we go. Lovely. Um, Can we get an air filter over here near to the chemical factory? Because that's where it's going to sort of be used. The chemicals will be used. Yeah, put it literally right opposite. Opposite like that, please. Okay, that kind of beams in from space or whatever, which is very good. And then if we could get another one, just to see if when they're fully charged, they will, you know, do, yeah, do the full-on Captain Planet thing and bring pollution down to zero. That would be amazing. So if we could get that done there, that might help out quite a bit because it's nearer to that. Okay, right. Happy with that. And courier huts. Because, yes, we've kind of overlooked these. Um, whereabouts are they? Resource management. It's at the end there. So there's one over there. So we could do with maybe a couple around here so if we pop one just there that wouldn't be so bad is that road going to appear yes it is lovely right so one just there yay for courier hut um whereabouts were they again in resource management yeah i mean that does make sense there's one there one there can we put one here no yeah, that bit of ground isn't flat, apparently, but okay, it seems a bit weird to me. I will put one just there, in that kind of deserty bit, but that's okay. Um, oh, it's not near a... Is it not near a repair thing? Oh, botherations. I kind of want one over here. We might have to build an engineer hut thing around here as well. Uh, okay, we'll do that then. Fine game, be like that. Also, that's wonky. Don't put it wonky. <laughs> like that. Pop that in like that. Get us... An engineer hut over here. Sorry to that desert plan that's going to be obliterated out of existence. Um, and a fire thing as well, which is in defense. It's only just covered. So if we put a fire thing just there, that will mean that area is nice and covered in case of fire. Uh, okay, and then any other courier huts? Do we need any other? So one there, one there, one there. Um... There's a few dotted around over there. Not many over here. Could we fit one into this gap? Could we fit one into that gap just there? Um, potentially. It, it did fit there. Boom. Yes. Drop that in. Annoy the neighbours. We're way past caring about that game. Never ask me again about that. <laughs> it's fine. The amount of times we've annoyed the neighbours is getting silly. Uh, okay. Let's see if there's anything we can put over here. There's one just there. There's one over there. Yeah, we are very much lacking in sort of courier huts around here. So let's pop one in. Um, yeah, just there will do. Yep, absolutely. That's fine. And then if we could get another one in, maybe in that gap. Can one fit in that gap? Can we get one in there? Oh, yes, we can. With oh, no, there's only one just there, though. That's okay. One around here. Can one fit just there? No bother it can if it crushes the road out of it just look at that that's a bit frustrating never mind um do you know what that might be okay 
that might be okay. We can't fit too many more in on you know, account of a total lack of space. Got one over there. I think that's sort of okay. That'll have to do for now. That seems like quite a lot of couriers, to be fair. So hopefully the couriers we have will be able to do a grand job of moving stuff about. Uh, we'll pop another one there just because there is gap and we're not doing anything else with it. Right. Marvellous. That should do the job. And um, yeah, we've told them to do 20 bajillion things. So we might need to run time on so they can do this gigantic sort of new building project down here. I mean, they are getting on with it quite well. Has that thing got anything in it yet? Has it got chemicals? No. Could we please provide this with chemicals, somebody? Because that'd be quite fun. And sciencey stuff. Okay, so now we've kind of got that done. Let's possibly, um, I mean, where do we go with this? Oxygen generator. We don't so much need all that. Space reservoirs, space water pumps, uh, 25 drinkable water refill rate in reservoirs. That's quite good. Again, then we get the extra capacity with the wonderfully named Starlit Oasis tech. Astral resilience, 15 maximum health, nugget resi oh, disease resistance to corpses and disease resistance to dirty water. Okay, that might be worth having. Celestial Endurance, plus five nugget carry capacity, plus 15% nugget stamina. Yeah, we'll make our way toward that, please. Because those three things sound really quite good. Yes, okay. Nanoscale ropes. Ah, oh, that's the space bridge. Okay, we'll come to that in a bit. But there we go. Right, so for now, what we do is we run time on until some super genius nugget brings some chemicals over to our air filter and then we'll see how effective it is. Okay, another election has started. Let's go and see the new candidate. So we have Chinaho, who is wearing a completely amazing hat. That is massive. Good grief. Accelerated studies. So nuggets spend less time in school, but injury rates increase. I'm not so bothered about the amount of time they spend in school. We don't need to rush them through. Vaccination. Nuggets get shots to become less prone to disease, 15% less chance of sickness, or medical aid, medicine preparation time down by 90%. Do you know what? Kamuki vaccination, let's go for that. If we can get 15% less chance of sickness, that's got to be a good thing. Because then, you know, there's 15% potentially less nuggets in hospitals, and they're back out doing their job, and, you know, living their life, and having a lovely time, and producing stuff, and going to work, and all that kind of bits and bobs. So, yeah, that seems like a pretty good idea. Has anybody bought stuff over here yet? No, they have not. Can we please bring some chemicals over to here? We've got 15 units of chemicals. I'm not quite sure why this hasn't been sort of, uh, this hasn't been seen to yet. Who's in charge of chemical deliveries? I'm not entirely sure. There's plenty of people driving around, look. There's loads of people pootling about in their cars. But, uh, yeah, none are seemingly bringing chemicals over here, which is a little bit of a shame. But, uh, but there we go. They'll get there at some point. It will happen at some point. It just seems to me that maybe maybe the chemicals are too far away. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I thought you were going to drive around the corner and drop off the chemicals. Botherations. Um, one thing that we could potentially consider and I'm not entirely sure how this would work, is could we build one of the big, sort of, uh, the big, whatever it was, the hypertube things, whatever they're called, the big kind of future armor style travel tube things, to take our nuggets from here, where we have fuel, this is where we generate our fuel stuff, or maybe over here, look, with that sort of new bit where the um, defense tower shoots the walls, could we bring them from here and have one of those tube things coming all the way down to here where we're building all this kind of new stuff. Could we get one of those in? And if we do, how costly is it going to be in terms of resources? Because they look like they're going to cost everything. They look completely massive. Um, let's go and take a look, shall we? Whilst they're doing all the research stuff, let's have a nosy. So, uh, yeah, these. Hyperlube. Um... I mean, yeah, so we'd have to put, we'd put this in over here, maybe. So would we drop that in, say, here? Oh, okay, Kamuki, yeah, vaccination, that's good. Yeah, whatever, good job, well done, welcome aboard, congratulations on your appointment. So if we built that, just there, that's a way in to our new Hyperlube thingamabob. So at the moment, it's five, 
Five glass, is it? Ten beams. We haven't got that much in the way of beams at the minute. To get some more beams. I suppose we have just done a massive building project. Some electronics and some plastic. Then what if we went... Okay, this is fine. I would like it to go over here, please. And be completely, utterly massive. If we wanted it to stretch a significant portion of the way around the planet, is it still the same? It can't still be the same. It can't be. And then we'd have to build an end point over here, I assume. That's how that works. Um, okay, right. Pause time for a minute. Because if time is paused, we can undo any kind of mistakes which are possibly inevitable. So if we click that just there um and i want to build a i want to build an out bit now game how do i build a how do we build an out bit uh i don't want to build another extendy bit i want to build the how do we build the end where's the end point <laughs> um toggle exit oh oh botheration how do we go back one how do we go back oh botherations okay right, hang on a minute <laughs> That didn't go entirely according to plan. It's It nearly did, and then it very much didn't. Uh, right, give me a second. Let's get that back. So put that just there. Because that seems like a pretty good point. It doesn't interfere with roads or anything. It's all fine. And then we put... Yeah, that like that. Because again, it's going over... That's not bothering a road. Yes, put it there, please. That's not bothering a road, I don't think. It's going over the road. So I don't want to destroy our transport network by building a slightly fancier transport network. That can go just there. That, I believe, is over a road. Yeah, that doesn't interfere with roads either, I don't think. Yeah, that's all fine. And then it can just yeah come back over here to, say, there. And then exit placement oh, is, is quite long. Oh, it's it's bigger than the way in, is it? Okay. <laughs> Why is that so grand? Um, ah, okay. Maybe we need to do it the other way round. Maybe we need to build it from the other end. Okay, right. Bail on that again. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm, let me go and sort this out because this is turning out to be slightly more fiddly than I imagined. So hang on. Let me go and try and make this work in one way or another. Right, there we go. Finally, my goodness me. That took about 10 attempts, I think it was, to get this working properly because it's just very fiddly. And I don't know if there's a way where you can go back and kind of undo the previous segment of Hyperloo thing that you just put down. I don't think there's a way to go back. It's kind of an all or nothing kind of thing. But now that goes over there pretty much perfectly. And I don't think it destroys any existing road networks. So let's put that down. And there we go. It's a massive building project. It is a huge big thing. Spanning, what, maybe possibly half the entire globe? Uh, let's go and check. Is it half the planet? No, maybe not. Maybe not half the planet, but not far off. Not far off. Maybe three-eighths of the planet or something. It's a big old thing. It's a big thing. This is going to be fascinating to see how that works. If it works, I'm not entirely sure. So, yeah, it connects over here, which is near to... Yeah, this sort of... Uh, what's that over there? There's a steel mill and the fuel factories are over here. A new big tall building is appearing, which is jolly exciting. Um, and then, yeah, it kind of goes all the way across here, across that lake... Goes a bit wibbly around here to avoid destroying roads. Because I don't want to destroy any roads. Hang on. What's that? Is that a... Oh, I thought that was a site where there was going to be a thing. That was going to be where there was going to be a space box. But there isn't bother. That's not what we're looking for, is it? Nope, that's Panda Brain Plum. Always worth a check on the things. And then it comes over here. And then it kind of bends around that corner. And um, yet, yeah, very fiddly. Very fiddly to do. I'm not entirely sure if we'll see lots of those around but i mean that one is quite an important one that can take people halfway around the planet and drop things off it fairly quickly which is magnificent um is this thing doing anything it is it's spinning around okay so filtering power is 1.25 out of 100 and it is possibly bringing pollution down so pollution is now minus 1.1 percent per year the pollution is being actively cleaned up, which is completely and utterly perfect. That is what we want. I mean, maybe to help with that, we could always put a few more of these Sleepy Spring Sanctuaries down. Um, pop another one just 
uh, there. I mean, we are getting rid of trees to build it, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll put that one there. Um, and if we could get some more of those in, that would be quite good. Is there a gap anywhere? We could just fit some in. Over here, look. Over here. Oh, hang on. That's, oh yeah, there's only a little bit of iron left in there. Okay, right, noted. Thank you, game. Uh, yep, Sleepy Springs Sanctuary. That's apparently an exile territory. Now, oh, bother. Okay, right, no, not over there then, because that's not going to work. They're going to get all huffy about it. Um, that is, this is near us, isn't it? Yeah, this is all our stuff. Um, pop that in over here, if we can. There was a bit where it did work. I saw it. Um... Yeah, just there, please. Yes, absolutely. Put one in over here. That'd be quite good. Could we get one of those Hyperloop things just to go round that corner, possibly? Because I think they have to get out their cars, look, and then walk this little way here. Could we just build a connector thing here and go boop, boop? That might be quite fun. Should we do that just, just for fun? Just because we can, because we have fancy new tech. Um, we could get that in. No firefighter huts in range. Really? We'll have to build a special firefighter hut <laughs> just for this purpose. Um, okay, pause time again. Pause time. Let's see if this is even going to work. So, like that. Okay. And then, sort of pop it out uh, a bit like that. Yes, that's going to annoy them, but okie doke, that's okay. And then, sort of, to there. Yes. And then bring the out bit exile settlement territory. Oh, bother. Okay, right, we can't build it there. That's ours, isn't it? If that's the exiles. Where's your bubble thing? Uh, oh! Oh, we're right on the edge of the bubble. In fact, our, our cemetery sticks into their defensive bubble. Okay. <laughs> Whatever's going on there, I don't know. Uh, can we do some trading with you, by the way? Ah! Okay, beams and chemicals. Can we have all of your beams? Because we are looking a little bit short on those. And just for the sake of it, can we have all of your chemicals? Thank you so much. Um, you look a bit low on planks there. So uh, how about we give you 250 planks? In fact, let's give you 300 planks and maybe just improve our reputation with you. The teeniest, tiniest bit. I don't think it'll make too much difference, but we've got a pile of chemicals. And some lovely, lovely beams, which is never a bad thing. Just try and dodge around those. Right, where's, um, who were they? That was them. Where's Capital City? Uh, I get very lost these days. There's Capital City over there. Hi, Capital City. Uh, can we do some trading with you? You have glass, uh, gas, oh, fuel. Fuel might be worth having from you, just because fuel is you know, useful and it's handy. So, uh, okay, we'll have your 24 fuel and we'll take your 25 chemicals because, you know, it's never good, to, uh, never a bad thing to have loads of chemicals. Um, gas, got plenty of that. Um, you guys, how are you on, on bricks? How are you on bricks these days? Would you like 150 bricks? Yes, okay, absolutely perfect. Do that trade, thank you so much. Little top of a fuel there. And then over here, the lovely people of Loveland, who now completely, utterly hate us. I assume because of the the thing, because of our Hyperloop thing. It's, it's many different buildings, I think. Many different kind of segments there. So I think maybe they're getting a bit fussy about that. Um, okay, begin trading with you. You are not selling us fuel this time round, or beams. Okay, we'll get the chemicals from you. And how are you on bricks? Would you like 50 bricks? Oh, no, not quite. Okay, 50 bricks and 50 planks? How are we doing for that? Okay, maybe not that many planks. Uh, 30 planks? Yeah, that'll do. Minimum stuff. Right, okay. So we've done some trading, topped up on a few essential things. That's all very good. Um, yeah, okay, so now I think the next big thing for us to wait for is a blizzard. A blizzard in just under three minutes' time, which is marvellous, isn't it? Yay. Although, over here, look at that. That's all looking completely amazing. Reservoir. Oh, hang on, can we upgrade the reservoirs? Is that a new thing we can do? Uh, yes, it must have been a new tech thing. Oh, yeah. Which one was it? That one there. So all the water pumps can get upgraded. And the reservoirs can. They can be upgraded to space reservoirs. Um, it is seven electronics and three plastic. 
I have a terrible feeling that at some point soon we are going to need to make our own plastics factory because we are going to get through that pretty quickly. And nobody just traded us for plastic there, which is a bit of a shame. Um, okay, we've got quite a lot of reservoirs and quite a lot of water, but we've got so many reservoirs. In for oh my goodness me. <laughs> this is going to take all of the resources in the known world. It's going to take 252 electronics and, oh, only 108 plastic. Okay, so the issue being we haven't got the electronics, which is no great surprise. Okay, what we'll do is we'll upgrade just some as we see them. So these ones over here can upgrade. That's absolutely fine. And there's one over there that we can do. So boop, upgrade that as well, please. And we'll do that one there. So start off with those four. In fact, there's one over here as well, this kind of new bit of town over here. So do those five then, is it? And then we'll sort of work on the rest. We just sort of keep chipping away at it as we go along. Where is this infected zone? Is it the one in an area which we can't read? Oh, no, it's the one. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. It's the one here, which is ever so slightly frustratingly out of range of this. Oh, there are multiple corpses there. Oh, crikey. Sorry, Nuggets. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Let me just sort this out. There's a lot of people dead on the doorstep over here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let, me, let me grab you. There we go. Lots of people running in terror. Sorry and in you go boop and just because we can we're next to it we'll upgrade that uh, that uh, that reservoir as well wonderful um okay right hopefully oh hang on a minute we're getting polluted lakes going on a lake is looking a little bit green uh really that one 23 percent polluted yep okay yep i hear you it's fine yeah we'll sort that out normal time speed please rain on that one or snow on it because i kind of think that's how it works and where are the other messages out ah, there um and that's that lake so where's the other lake the other lake this lake i think it might be the same lake i'm not entirely sure okay i don't quite know about the quality of the lakes but it's fine that one at least is now not quite as polluty and there is going to be a blizzard very 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 soon do we sound the alarm right now or do we leave it a little bit longer until the blizzard begins? But is that going to result in people being dead? You know what? I think we sound the alarm now to make sure that people are either home or near to their home. You know, near enough to where they need to be. Or in a bunker, I suppose. So, you know, they don't get too much exposure to the cold. Uh, or we could... Hang on a second. We did this last time. We could season change... We go like that and skip through to spring. It'll take 400 of our creator points. We've got 522 right now, so it'll be okay. But then it'll just skip winter, skip the blizzard, go to spring. Everything will be better, I think. That's what we do. Away with you, pesky blizzard. Let's avoid that problem entirely. Magical things can happen with the, with the sun and the moon and whatever else. And now we've just dodged that and we're back in spring. Which is magnificent. Okay, there we go. That avoids a problem entirely, which just makes life that little bit easier. Marvellous. Okay, infinite aquifers research is done. That's all very good. We'll go and sort out more research in a second. However, I have only just noticed the resources we need to build the Hyperloop, and I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Look at that. So it needs 175 glass, which we've put in already. That's good. Only 35 electronics. I assume maybe it's comprised of 35 little bits, so it's one piece of electronics per sort of little sort of uh, build section. And 35 plastic as well, which is not too bad. However, it requires 350 steel beams. We're not quite at the point where we have that many steel beams hanging around, so I don't think we'll see that anytime soon. I don't think we'll see it soon. It's got 74 beams in at the minute, and we have 63 kind of hanging around. So I think it might take a little while to get that done. So let's not hold our breath for that. We are doing, I mean, what's that? What's that going in? Is that just a new residential? That's a new residential building. I think the reservoirs are being upgraded. Have we got a finished one that we can go and look at? I think they're all being upgraded at the same time. They're all going through at the same time, I think, which is good. That's a good thing. Um... But yes, I think, yeah, that one's being worked on as well. It's 38% of the way through. Okay, run time on nice and quick. Let's see 
what an upgraded reservoir looks like. I think maybe that's going to be the first one to be done. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> the printing, I don't know, whatever it is, printing head, printing block, printing thing, moves upwards a little bit, depending on how sort of complete it is. So it's worked on that bottom bit, and now it's got to sort of shuffle up a bit to build the next level on top of the reservoir. Okay, there you go. Look, it gets a bit higher. <laughs> I like that. That's fun. Look at that's very exciting. It's a little kind of futuristic rocket engine things. Uh, okay, hang on. Whilst that's happening, whilst that's happening, um, we've got just shy of 1,700 discovery points. Why don't we get all of these things done? So let's get started, Oasis, so we can get plus five drinking water capacity in reservoirs, which makes sense because we are working on reservoirs right now. So get that done, please. And then astral resilience. So maximum health goes up and they're a little bit more resistant to diseases from corpses and diseases from dirty water. It shouldn't really be an issue, but that's absolutely fine. And then celestial endurance. Space study led to micro celestial energy converters in nugget cells. No glowing effect, but definitely boosted everything else. Plus five carry capacity and plus 15% stamina. Completely amazing. Yes, please. Um, so, I mean, we've got so many discovery points, even after all that. So that's done. Starlit Oasis. Celestial Endurance is done, which is wonderful. That thing shuffles up a bit more. And there we go. Those are now done. The Nuggets are just so much better. Oh, it says you're here. I said you're here on a little kind of sign down there. I know we're in the Space Age game. It's fine. Um, I mean, let's carry on and complete that bit, shall we? So Nanoscale Ropes. Space bridge. Sounds amazing. Can we have a space bridge? Surgical robots. Space hospital. Okay, this is brilliant. Um, that's to do with the nuggetoids. So the nuggetoids can charge each other. Okay. I mean, maybe at some point we do need to get the nuggetoids in. We won't do it today, I don't think. But, um, oh, we need... What's that? INNSM something three. Oh, we need a different... Oh, we need that to then get that. Oh, okay, right. So we've got different kind of dependencies going on. Um, galactic, oh no, not galactic. Genetic harmony plus 10% twin possibility. Um, this game's quite big on pointing out twins and things. I'm not quite sure what difference that makes, but okay. Uh, and then trailblazer training one plus three nugget carry capacity. Yes, we'll take that. And then trailblazer training two is plus five nugget carry capacity. So together, that's another plus eight from that. Another five from, that's, we just added plus 13. What we'll do when we get to that point. Plus 13 carry capacity to the nuggets. That's going to make things fantastic. Okay, right, yeah, do that, please. Absolutely get that done. That's going to be amazing. And this is almost complete. We can look at a space reservoir. Uh, as soon as it's done. Okay, very nice. It's got a little kind of water meter on the front to let everybody know how much water there is in the space reservoir. And there is the water. Just, you know, zhuzhing through a magical, futuristic, zhuzhy water tube. Uh, there is an infected zone. Is it one that we can do anything about? Um, are you one of our people? Yes, you're a geek. Uh, okay, fine. We'll try and... Um, We'll try and get you back uh, into a grave because people are being a bit upset by this. Uh, right, hang on. Let's go and find a graveyard to pop you into. Definitely not one over there. Not one over there at all. I think there is one just that. There we go. We in you go. Rest in peace. A criminal vandalized bountiful bastion. Well, that is not acceptable. Who's vandalizing this lovely place? And why is that happening? I think maybe it's sort of okay again now. There is somebody running around. It's not you, is it? It's not you, Chabombo Crikeys, which is a completely amazing name. That's fantastic. I don't think so. I don't think it's them causing a nuisance. Okay, no, it seems to be fine now. Either it didn't matter that much. Are we stuck in a wind turbine blade? Oh no, there's a building there. That's what's happening. Sorry. Um, so uh, yeah, either the police got them or they just, you know, ran over and kicked a tree and then ran off again. I'm not really sure, but okay. It doesn't bother us too much, I don't think. Uh, while we're here, just pop a few more upgrades onto these things that we can see. Uh, there's a water pump there. What do they need? Ah, the water pumps need beams. We're not going to upgrade those. 
because we need the beams to do the um, <laughs> the uh, big kind of uh, the hyper tube thingamajig. Uh, we'll upgrade a few of the uh, reservoirs around here though, just whilst we're next to it. Have we got a space box that we can look at? No, no space boxes. Sad times. I want another space box. I want to get a jigsaw piece thing and build another fancy building because they're exciting and impressive. Uh, do you know what that'll do for now then? Just you know, get through a few more of those, chip away at them as we go. More nuggets are becoming believers, 430 of them now, which is magnificent. Ah, right, okay, one of our oil jacks has run out, okie doke. Let's go and deal with that, shall we? That is now completely bereft of anything. We have got nearly 3,000 oil, so I think we should be okay for oil for a good long time. But uh, yeah, that's completely useless now, so... um. Yeah, I'd like to destroy that building, please. That can then fall apart. And if we salvage that, we get nine beams. Absolutely. Give us nine beams, please. We can put those toward the new exciting building project of the Zhuzhi space tube thingamajig. Uh, also, whilst we're here, upgrade that, please. Thank you so much. That is wonderful. Oh, and that one. Yep, yeah, get that one done because it's right there in front of us. And you know what? That one there as well, because again, it's nearby. Okay, right, wonderful. Did that other thing fall down? Where was that? There was a a mine of some sort that I can't quite recall what it was. But they do have a little icon over them, don't they? To say, yeah, hang on a minute, I've run out of resources. I just can't think of where it was. It was it was a mine of some kind. I should must have run out by now. Hang on, let me go and find it. Oh, I think that's it. I think it's just there. Yeah, it's an iron mine. Okay, how much do you have? Eight bits of iron. Just eight little bits left. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, we're not doing much else right now. We're sort of waiting for the uh, the steel beams to build up so we can get our sort of, yeah, sort of magic transport tube thing sorted out. So we'll just sort of hang around for this to then deplete its resources. And then we can knock that down. It's only got five left. So another couple of mining cycles and that thing will be done. So uh, yeah, we just wait and hang around for that thing to just finish up. Hang on, somebody claims that a smell of burning is in the air. Okay, do we need to be concerned about this? Oh, yes, we do need to be concerned about this because there is a fire next to the solar panels. Okay, now are the Nugget PD all over this? There is, not the Nugget PD. I mean, they might be involved as well. The Nugget Fire Service is what I meant there. Uh, there is a, oh, there they are. They are, they're on it already. Oh, you lot are amazing. Okay, good job. Good job. Um, high temperature alert. The plant temperature is rising dangerously. It's not, though. It's not. I That's a bug. I think that's a bug. High temperature alert, but nothing has happened. It, it's not. <laughs> there is no increase in anything. It's all absolutely fine. Away with your silly warning game. I suspect maybe that's some sort of slight bug that appears when there is one little fire. It's just a bit weird, but okay. Right, where was that thing that we were looking at? I've got distracted, and now I can't find where the uh, the iron mine thing was that's going to deplete. There it is. Okay, right, back we go. It must nearly be done. And there we go. It is actually now done. So uh, knock that apart and salvage those bits. Thank you very much. And whilst time's ticking by, maybe let's go over here to the heart of Cabordia and just get some trees on the go, because it'll just look nice. 200 of our 550 old creator points to just make a lot of trees appear right in the middle and just make it look a lot nicer. I notice, yeah, we're back down to 12,000 trees. So maybe, I mean, yeah, is it worth doing that again just there? It's quite a big area, but hopefully that should help quite a bit. I mean, yeah, it's not gonna maybe get up to 13,000 again because there are many buildings and other things in the way to, you know, interfere with where the trees can grow. But that's still quite a good increase. And it does look better. I agree with you people in the comments. It looks a lot nicer with a little bit of vegetation around rather than just this kind of this sort of, I don't know, drab kind of grey ground or whatever. It doesn't look very exciting. So, uh, yeah, maybe if we could get a little bit, 140. Yeah, pop some more trees over there. And, okay, we're back up to 13,000 trees, which is quite a surprise. I didn't think that would happen. But uh, okay, and we'll upgrade that, thank you. And we'll upgrade that. And we can upgrade the hospitals. Can we? For one beam. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Prioritize that. I want to see a space hospital. 
because that sounds fantastic. Is there another potential infected zone? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> okay, over here, out the front of this place. Again, it's not very pleasant. Sorry, Nuggets. Think of all the good things I've done, though. I know I'm making a corpse fly around in the air in front of your faces, but I did just make a load of trees appear as well. So, you know, and I'm doing that for your own good, to stop the germs and such. And um, yeah, if we could get that hospital upgraded, that would be exciting. That'd be quite good. I was kind of hoping to get the sort of uh, the tube thing sorted out, but I don't think that's going to happen now. That's just going to take way too much effort for the moment. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Can we click on it from there? We're on about 200 out of the 350 beams we need. So, yeah, it's going to take a little while to get sorted. So if we could upgrade a hospital and have a look at a space hospital, then that would be quite fun. So, yeah, if we could just work on this everybody that would be fantastic oh and work has begun work has begun they've attached the 3d printer thing onto the hospital the old ones kind of just gone now it's been destroyed evaporated whatever and now they're working on the new one six percent of the way through so yeah a little while to go to get that sorted out but you know that makes sense because you know it's a space hospital you can't just build one of those in a few hours they require many exciting spacey futuristic bits so uh, yeah and also here and here look We've got the two reservoirs also going in and our nuggets have just been very, very seriously upgraded. They can now carry so much more stuff, which is completely amazing. OK, right, that's that done. So now I think let's get Stellar Medicine for a 25% drop in medicine preparation time. Uh, and then we'll get, what's that, Gravity Altering. Ah, unlocks the Space Rehab Centre. Yes because our rehab centres look really, really old and antiquated now. They look like things from ye olden days from many years ago. Um, so yeah, if we could get them updated, that'd be amazing. And space lumber camps. Hang on, by listening to music in the bio laboratory, a group of nuggets discovered sound waves had a positive effect on the growth rate of trees. This technique was immediately implemented in all lumber mills. We're going to play music to the trees, that's amazing. And gravity altering. Why does that make the rehab centre get upgraded? With a better understanding of gravity, Nuggets learn how to manipulate gravitational fields to directly influence the brain. Oh, oh, okay, that's exciting. Uh, right, we'll get sound wave treatment, get auto food processing, space eateries, oh my goodness me, and then space farm via gene transfer. And then we've got three more things down here which we can get. Uh, quicker fish gutting time. I mean, I suppose it helps. Uh, plus 15 food storage capacity in the eateries with a galactic buffet. <laughs> yes. A revolutionary leap in astro agriculture enabled the harnessing of nutrient rich substances from raw food and herbs, enhancing meal flavour in exchange for extra kitchen space. Okay, that's completely brilliant. And then cosmic gastronomy, they cook the food quicker as well. These things are all amazing. Okay, right. We'll try and work on these. I mean, yeah, we'll queue those up once all that's done. We're getting so many exciting things. But uh, yeah, the hospital now is the big thing. I would love to see a space hospital. And uh, yeah, at the moment, things are looking okay. I was going to say the Q word. I was going to say all oh, things are pretty. And then that word that begins with Q. But if I were to say that, then bad things would happen. So we're just going to say things are looking okay right now. Isn't that lovely? Um, and then, yeah, we'll just tick time on until the space hospital is up and running. And I think the space hospital is done. And there it is. Okay, that's very unexpected. It's very purple. It's a lot more purple than I thought it was going to be. But okay, uh, it's got a cross on it to remind you that it is a hospital. Okay, uh, it's got a handle on it, which is good. Yeah, it's important for your hospital to have a great big handle on the side. Multiple levels down here where they can treat many people. Okay, I like that. And it's very shiny and pointy bits on the top. Very good. Um, and yeah, it can just, it's got six healing spots in it now which is really good. It can hold many herbs. Bit weird that we're now using, you know, herbs in the space age to do treatments. But yeah, I suppose maybe that's kind of based a little bit on reality. I assume some of the stuff we use today for medicine is, you know, grown in the ground or whatever. And uh, yeah, it can store 30 medicine. Right, no, it's got 30. It can store more, I think, actually, which is pretty good. And yeah, two shaveliches working in there right now, which is good. So now that's done, 
And that's very impressive. I like that. What we're going to do is we're going to sort out the election. Hang on a minute. There's a thing there. Upgrade that as we just fly past. And yeah, there is an election going on. So we'll sort that out. We'll pick who we would like to be in charge. Doesn't seem that long since we did the last one, but OK. Uh, scientific focus, safety guidelines, medical aid. Now, normally I'd pick scientific focus, but I think what I want to do is I'd like to get to the end of this little bit over here and then take a break from doing science stuff because we're going to have so many things to build and upgrade and work on and everything else. So I think maybe we'll get all this done and then we'll have a little gap from research for a while just so we can upgrade the lumber camp and the rehab centres and all of the eateries because there's quite a lot of those. So that's going to take a lot of effort. We, of course, need yeah, a bit of time and resource to get the magical kind of transport tube things up and running as well. So I think, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a break. So normally I would go for scientific focus. But um, yeah, at the moment, I don't think we need that. Research is just you know, ticking on OK. That's fine. And I would prefer to get more creator points right now. So yeah, we won't go for that. Safety guidelines seems pretty good. Minus 15% chance of injury. Medical aid just yeah, makes the medicine appear quicker, but we've got loads of that. So yeah, safety guidelines. no, I'm absolutely on board with you leading us. That would be lovely. And with that done, we will wrap things up for now. But I mean, we've made huge strides now into the space age. I didn't think we'd get that far. And one big exciting project we have going on is somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. Uh, space Hospital. That's brilliant. Yay for the Space Hospital. Um, Where's the thing? It's, oh, it's over here. Hang on. It's over here somewhere. It connects just here. There we go, look. Um, at some point in the next part, I imagine, the next video, we will be able to get the first Hyperlube set up. Um, it's yeah, still a huge requirement on beams, but we're getting there. We'll work our way through them and that's fine. So I think in the next video that'll be sorted and we can see how this works. We can watch our nuggets fly through these future armor styly from one place to another in the blink of an eye almost. And hopefully it'll just yeah, make transport between one side of the planet and pretty much the other side of the planet a little bit quicker and more efficient as well. And that'll just be yeah, a very, very exciting thing to see because yeah, a lot of things we have now are sort of semi-futuristic the new hospital building is yeah it was futuristic -y looking but yeah it, it was still just you know, a building had a handle on it and it was quite pointy but you know i mean that there looks okay that looks futuristic sort of that thing there is going to be absolutely completely out there it's going to be completely bonkers so uh so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing how that works and whether it's going to make any difference at all so uh yes we'll finish up for now come back next time and we can look forward to some completely silly hyperlube transportation going on which will be splendid stuff but yeah we'll finish things up for now hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the universe sim but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time we found a whale pandas Hello, panda friend. Oh, you're adorable. Good dear, it was two deer. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Peacock. Oh, we've got an owl. We've got manta rays. Parrots. And there we go, beavers, yay. Yes, it was an eagle. It's a turtle. We've got a narwhal. We've got frogs. This is, I love this.